we had been to Iceland, uh, Andreas and myself, and in Iceland we'd been producing a vodka brand. What we discovered with this vodka brand was that we could blend it to very high ABVs. We were using uh, Icelandic water direct from the spring. And what we found with Icelandic water is that if you process it, you lose what is called the surface tension of the water. And the idea struck us that what would happen if we took what was already this really quite nice gin and blended it with Icelandic water? Would it even take us a stage further in terms of what we call taming the juniper? Because of the growth of the brand, it became very, very ecologically bad to ship glass all the way to Iceland, to fill it, to ship it all the way back to Europe. So we looked into the idea of how we could bring water from Iceland to the UK. I mean, at first, the, you know, the bottler uh, was very skeptical. His view was, why not use their de demineralized water? Really, we had to convince him that this was not just simple marketing, that it does have this transformational effect on the gin. And we did this by having him bottle some of his own uh, demineralized water with Martin Miller's in it and ours, and we let him decide. Even our bottler straight away just said, it's chalk and cheese, you know, this is crazy. I don't, I don't know why it's working, you know, but it works. So we set ourselves the task of basically bringing water to the UK. This took probably nearly 18 months to, to figure out. Because it's, it's, not, it's not treated, it goes off very quickly if you leave it out. And at that time, there was no real viable way of shipping it in, in the quantities we needed. After a period of time, we discovered that there were some people making these resealable or sealed uh, ISO containers. And what we do now is we take those go to Iceland and they're filled and sealed. And then they're shipped back to the UK. They're unsealed and they're used immediately and the spirit is immediately blended and then left for 10 days again to, to settle. If you don't do that, the water goes off. Um, so it's a pain for the bottlers, but it's the only way of doing it. Uh, this gin that was already very good was simply transformed into this totally different experience. No particular botanical came to the fore. You could smell citrus, then if you breathed again, you got some juniper then you would get cassia. It was very, very delicate, very complex. When you drink a gin like Martin Miller's that has Icelandic water in it, the mouthfeel is totally different. The Icelandic water was giving it this almost chewy softness. There was no harshness from it, but it was still gin. It was just gin on a totally different level.